more borderless headaches. More borderless headaches, eight packs. Though you want to have less headaches and more booty. Sex has a price, so you don't want to get cheap sex and pay the price with drama or obligations or expectations telling you what to do, make a difficult relationship. Always go addiction from the girl to sex first. Then you could transition into a love relationship if you want to. Sex is 70% of relationships, so make sure you got your sex game right before you go into this romantic bullshit. Seriously, because they're dragging you into romantic bullshit. And when you don't, when, if you don't get your sex game straight, you're going to keep working for that relationship for the rest of your life. And guys, I'm fine with that if you're doing it. If you want to do things otherwise, keep following my channel, give a thumbs up, man. I can really appreciate it. So let's go. Mm, more brutalist headaches. So three uh, transitions, best openings to transition into sex game, get some practice hours. Um, this is for the guys who be dating. This is not for a relationship that's already been set up, where it's all like, okay, this is how we treat each other. This is when we go to bed. No, you will need to start from scratch. Um, so this is only for the guys who be dating and setting up some relationship and they could do it. So first one is uh, during conversation, you get to talk with them. You want to uh, go in the emotional experience. You want to communicate an emotion. Trend, you need to think what translates in when you talk in what they feel, right? So we're going to be talking in emotion and we'll start with our own emotion and we'll use anger. For instance, um, I use anger. I'm angry. We just been on that. I'm angry. And I'm trying to raise interest with my anger about something. She'd be interested. What are you angry about? Uh, hopefully, if she's not interested, you're not doing your homework right. So you need to make sure to be interested in your, that you're angry. Make sure like, oh, I'm really angry. Why? Well, so you need to be on point. I'm angry. You have been so disappointed. So like, oh, wow. Why? You keep you know, extending it, making it more exciting, making it more mysterious. And at final point, you would say like, I'm so angry. I have never been, women are just disappointing lately when it comes to what they know about, I, I hope I can tell you about sex, I'm seriously, because they can't talk, look, they can't talk about it. She'd be like, what? And you're like, they can't talk about it, right? So you opened up, you break up the conversation about sex. You want to talk about sex. That's how, that's how you're going to get practice. That's how you can negotiate about sex, right? If they like uh, promiscuous or whatever, uh, they will find it exciting. This is where you have to push levels and see how far you can get. It will get you way more, many results. So then we go to the second one, friends. Like you have, you you are uh, disappointed. Well, why disappointed? Because you found out that um, a lot of girls need practice when it comes to sex. And she's like, who the fuck you be talking about that? And that will make you interesting person that you, that you have this opinion and maybe you have this opinion and you're like skeptical about sex. Well, what's the use of sex if the women need practice? Like, I need to teach them and stuff. It's getting boring. You can like pff, blow air into this bullshit. Um, if you, uh, the third one is uh, you could be funny. Um, well, I'm so, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sad, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm sad. I'm afraid. I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever be healthy again or be normal because... And she's like, well, why? Well, you, again, you're growing this interest, this emotion, be loading. And you want sympathy, sympathy from her side now, because Willie is just died. And she's like, who the fuck is Willie? And you're like, really? You don't know who I'm talking about Willie, the one most important friend I have in my life. She's like, and that's, you know, you, will, you won't never see him because if you see him, he's, he's dead. She's like, she's laughing. You're playing around with what's down there and you're suggesting he just died and you're trying to make it a challenge for her to see if she can bring him back to life. Right. And what I'm trying to say is you need to be um, careful with this topic. Not too much, not too little, but you need to have it in a fun way, but also serious. Grow interest. Make sure the girls do want to, you know, you see them smile, want to talk. Don't put it in their face. Uh, when the when the conversation proceeds, of course, you have to do everything else, but hopefully we'll get you more practice hours in the bathroom when you escalate into sex because you can grab this topic back again after sex, for instance, or during the sex and try to negotiate about this should happen more often. You need more practice or I need more practice or Willie just came back to life and she's responding to it. You want to have this conversation about, about this event of sex. 
and then just throw it away. A lot of guys go in sex, no conversation, and they start from the bottom up trying to do the conversation again. So that's what I just told you. Use anchors. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, get more booty, have less headaches, have a great life, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, man, with all your friends, man. Love and care. Woo-hoo!